Santa baby, Santa baby, so hurry down the chimney to me. So hurry down the chimney to me. So hurry down the Hi. Um, I'm here for a pickup. You said Sierra? Okay. S-I-E-R-R-A. Gotcha. Okay, give me two minutes if you want. Take a look at some pieces while you wait. But yeah, I'll okay. be right with you. Okay. All right, thank uh, you. Just have your ID ready. Okay. Apple phone. Because you don't have the box. Have to do that. Okay. All right. Cool. One 800 my apple If not, just come on back. Cool. All right. I appreciate it. Thank you. No worries. and welcome back to vlogmas day four i hope you guys enjoyed seeing a little behind the scenes and got to see a little snippet of theo's birthday party he really enjoyed seeing all of his people there but he did not enjoy the hat which i wasn't even really gonna put the hat on him but because i thought it was gonna be like a regular size hat and it wasn't a regular size hat it was like a little like mini person hat and so i was like this is so cute but anyways as y'all just saw, I came and got my new phone. I just got the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Um, I will unbox it with y'all once I get back to the house. But I am a part of the Apple iPhone upgrade program. So essentially, with that, it's basically like you're just renting a phone. Which, you know, for me, it's fine. I don't too much care about all of that. You know, some people be trying to be like all sticklers about it. Like, oh, no, nah, no, nah. Anyways, I don't care because I like new stuff. And especially with phones, as much as they like mess up, you need a new one. So with the iPhone upgrade program, all you have to do is pay 12 payments, which is essentially half the phone, and then you can upgrade and get the new one. So I basically just get the new iPhone every year. So I just wanna pick that up so I can have it for the trip, you know, to take pictures. Cause my other phone, I have maxed out the storage on there. And with the new 15s, the lowest gigs on the Pro Maxes are 256 gigabytes, and right now I only have 128. So I have to worry about trying to delete a bunch of stuff. I mean, I still need to delete a bunch of stuff, but I'm gonna have to worry about trying to like hurry up and do that before we go on the trip because today is a prep day. Okay, it's the day before we leave, and I got well, okay. I don't have too much to do. I really kind of already packed my stuff. I gotta figure out something to do with my hair. I bought this wig from Amazon that I'm gonna show y'all how I'm gonna like zhuzh up later because it's definitely even wig because it's like $15, but we're gonna make it work. Um, but we need to go get some like little travel stuff from Target, so we're on the way there now. And I didn't get a case because this was definitely like a spur of the moment thing me just going to get this phone like i knew i was gonna i was gonna wait until i came back to get it but then someone's like just go ahead and get it for the trip so you'll have it so that's what i did so we're probably gonna get a case in target i was gonna get one that i saw in the store in apple but it was like all scratched up and i'm sure it was like 75 dollars and i was like i'm not about to pay 75 dollars for a phone that's all scratched up like you no thank you so Call me to Target and get a little bit of stuff. And yeah, we about to get prepared to go to Costa Rica. Yeah, so call me to Target so we can get prepared to go to Costa Rica. I shouldn't have picked this little tree. Everything I do turns into a disaster. I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about. Isn't there anyone who knows what Christmas is all about? 
sure, Charlie Brown. I can tell you what Christmas is all about. Y'all, I want a new hair clip. I want a neutral one in this area. This one is kind of cute, but it's also kind of giving childish a little bit with these like stones and stuff. And I think it's doing too much. I just want a plain, clear hair clip. This color is cute too, but not with all this doggone stones on it. I swear, it's, it's giving Forever 21 when they be doing too much. This one's cute. I already have something like this. And I just need a clear one that I can take on the trip. So that I can wear it with every outfit. Or I guess I could do a white one. I don't have a Oh, this is all one thing. I was trying to figure out why they wouldn't come apart. I don't need all three of these. I just need a white one. If y'all don't lather your body in baby oil gel, you need to. This stuff gets you greasy and moisturized. Big key. I wish they had, they used to have the um, lavender one that I like, but they don't have it anymore. So I guess this one's okay. Okay, so I'm trying to decide which one I want to get. I really like this one for vacation but then i like this one just in general it's like a cute light pink but i don't know i feel like i should just get this one because this was only 20 dollars, and this one is 40. what y'all think So I just got home, took a shower, wet my hair because I told y'all I'm putting on a wig and my sister about to come braid my hair and it's easier to braid not straight hair. So yeah, but I'm also loving the heat damage because my hair is so much more manageable. Now, like I know, I know, I know, controversy, but let me tell you, I see why the girls is getting perms again, but that's neither here nor there. We are here to open our new iPhone 15 Pro Max. I just ran right into the Apple store and got it because I did it for pickup. It has a cute little Apple like Christmas bow on it. I don't know. I'd be loving the details, y'all. I ended up just getting the 256, 256 gigabyte white one. I also wanted to show y'all what I got from Target. I did end up getting both cases. I got the floral print one. It's the Sonic um, brand and this is the Heyday one. It's like the Apple one, but of course it doesn't have the Apple logo, but it's like the light pink. I got both. I think I like this one better, obviously, because I have it on the phone, so I just like the feel of this. I showed y'all I got the baby oil gel and I did end up finding a hair clip. I just wanted a basic clear one, but I couldn't find one. So I got this one. I thought it was cute. I think it'll go with some of the outfits that I have. But if not, I feel like it's still kind of neutral-ish where it'll go with about anything. I don't know. We'll see. And then I just got some makeup sponges. And as y'all can see, I chose a countertop. Um, I forgot that I didn't even show and tell y'all how I did it. So I'll put that in here now. Okay, y'all, so we are currently in the process of finally putting the contact paper on the countertops. I went ahead and cut this whole piece to size on the countertop. I did not um, take the backing off of this yet so that, of course, it's not sticking to the countertop. Um, so I think I'm just going to like cut the backing off in pieces and work in smaller sections so that way it'll be a lot easier. I also saw where when people were doing it online they said to use a spray bottle to spray the countertop with um maybe like two percent soap and a little bit of water i use dawn dish soap 
and I spray it on the countertop so that way when I do remove the backing it doesn't immediately get stuck once it dries of course it's going to stick but it allows you to lift it up and reposition the countertop paper um, to where you need it to be so that was a really good tip. Now also to make sure that the contact paper actually dries in place, I'm going to take my mama's heat gun. Thank you, mom. Um, and I'm gonna take my squeegee and heat the part, the sections up that I've already moved the, removed the backing from, just so it stays exactly in that spot. You got the tree up. Now for the corners, you just wrap it like you wrap a present. So what I'm going to do is where this line is, I'm just going to cut. Cut this off a little. Fold that over like that. And then fold that down like that. Fold it under. Okay y'all, so the countertop is officially done. I have completed as much as I'm going to do it. There are definitely some imperfections. As y'all can see up here, child, I done took these people paint off the wall. So when you do this, be careful because this paper will stick to the wall and the paint will come off. So that's just fair warning. The main reason I went with this countertop paper instead of the other ones is because it already has imperfections like in it. So that way if I mess up putting it on or if it gets messed up, it won't be as not noticeable. But yeah. That's how the countertop is looking. So we're officially done with that. And now we have to do <laughs> the entire kitchen. So fun. But yeah, so I really like the countertops. Way better than what I had before. Um, and I'm happy that I changed them. I have no regrets. Okay. No regrets about the countertops. Absolutely love them. Okay. Also, as y'all can see, my sister came over and braided down my hair so I could put the wig on. Like, look at her. She is absolutely too full. Like, I don't understand. I do like the texture of the wig. Like, I like the coils of it, but I also like that it's not like that shininess. It de definitely has that natural luster to it, but it doesn't have a natural density. Like, why is she this thick? I don't know, it don't get natural to me, so I'm about to cut a bunch of tracks up out of here. I just wanted y'all to see how it look on first, so y'all can see the before and the after of how I'm about to work my magic and make this, make this look like something, okay? Like, she's cute and I like the color, but like, she's a lot, okay? She's like a lot, like she's cute. We like her, but it's not giving natural, in my opinion. I mean, if this is what you like, the link definitely gonna be down in the description. But I'm about to get the chopping. Because I don't even know. Like, I do like that they already have the bang cut. But I don't even know if I'm going to wear it in the fro like this. More than likely, I'm going to wear it pulled back and, like, half up, half down. Which is why I left some edges out. But, again, it's just way too thick. So, 
we about to get to cutting. Okay. Just give it Tina's turn. Okay, y'all, so this is the final-ish look. I think it looks pretty decent. This was definitely not my birthday or vacation first option hairstyle that I wanted to go with. Um, I was gonna get some scalp braids, but then I was like, I just didn't want a chance to get no hay glue ticks after all of the no's and not according to plan events that have happened to me this week. So it's like, let me put my hair into my own hands. And I was gonna braid and do like, um, some boho like passion twist but i didn't have time for all that so this was the quickest easiest thing that i knew i could do like i said i could do different hairstyles so if you want to see how this hair turns out if you don't like this hairstyle you're like oh i like the better down or i think it'd be better this way leave it in the comments but then come back and watch the costa rica vlog that'll probably come out i think what i'm going to do is i have like two vlogs already recorded that i plan on editing and posting while i'm in costa rica and of course i'm vlogging there but i don't think i'll be able to continue with the every other day for vlogmas while i'm there because obviously i don't have any content except for the costa rica content to record so i'm probably gonna take a few days off in between vlogmas to edit the costa rica vlog and post that but then pick back up heavy posting and making sure i get the full 12 days of vlogmas out before the 25th so yeah by the time y'all see this it'll be my birthday well actually y'all will see theo's birthday um party vlog on my birthday so i'm done with the hair for now i'm about to finish packing i got like i said some of this most of my stuff together i just need to get my personal stuff it is 11 20 and i still have to pack and i need to be up at three o'clock really like 2 45 so i'm just gonna montage it out of me packing and i will see y'all in the costa rica vlog soften up the mess drop it in the water let the daughter find an image with the rest she'll be learning how to breathe Spinning through identity, reveal another pretty little scheme Save her mind Hold her hand And don't believe a lie You understand me Walk her down the valley Pack a piece of heaven for the bottoms of her feet Teach her how to jump and how to stretch when she reach Like the angels do And you gon' make it through now Tell about the healer Greater is the one within a column as the leader Teach her how to hold a pretty hand up to the sky And I'ma wait up on the giver He'll deliver like a dealer to take her Show her every door and how the windows let the sun in Copy out the key and tell her this is for becoming Even in the fever, baby, cry and get to running And tell her that you better get your bootstraps up You're with the army Ready when the truth act up, nothing can harm me Yelling from the roof, I touch, put up a guard and count to ten Lion's den, speaking with a higher pen Can't be touched by fire then Fast forward to the grown things now I'm working on them soul things now Forgiving all your old ways But it's harder on the cold day Cold day Never been a product of a flaw all this environment <laughs> Never you see me? Like